Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Um, today is a colouring haul. This is everything I bought for the month of October. <clears throat> There's quite a few items here so we'll get started. I'm going to start off with just a couple of supplies that I bought. Um, I recently did an acrylic background, a black acrylic background in one of my books and um, I really enjoyed it and when I was looking last time on Amazon I think they're quite a recent edition this is the Arteza 10 acrylic colours um, that are in iridescent uh, they come as a pack of 10 like this um, iridescent uh, premium acrylic colours and these these looked really really nice so you get dreamy lemon yellow a700 uh, fancy black a709 uh, shocking lime green a708 fairy tale blue a707 royal purple a705 playful pink look like a white but it's playful pink A704 it's like a white with a, an iridescent pink in it uh, glowing peach A701 you get shady orange A702 fiery red A703 and lastly Electric Plum Purple A706 You probably can't see the iridescence to them but they've just got a really nice shine Obviously these, these are very new, I haven't tried them yet so I'll let you know how they go If you wanted to see them used at all just pop it in the comments below and I'll get a video of that, that done for you so that's the first piece that I bought. I think they were um, in British pounds. They were worth about thirty pounds. They might have been a bit less actually. I'm sure. I'm sure, they might have been a bit less. Um, <clears throat> a quick little purchase. I've got a bit of a washi tape. We'll call it an obsession because that's what it is because I definitely didn't need any more and I always buy it when I see it anyway and I picked this one up in Lidl of all places for a couple of pounds and I quite liked the uh, one on the end in the gold dots so I grabbed that <clears throat> and the other thing I got uh, yeah this happened I bought the 72 set of Derwent pastel pencils. This is um, our watch Lucy just adds colour and the couple, last couple of her um, kind of colouring videos I've seen her using these um, and they, they look really good. I mean her pictures are really good so they might not look like that when I use them but this is what you get. As with most Derwent colours, you get the bigger set is 72. They're a nice thick barrel. They say Derwent Pastel. They've got the colour and the colour number. They're a round barrel with a capped end with the colour. And uh, I think they will be very good. A lot of yellows, a couple of reds in there, plenty of blues, plenty of greens and a nice selection of uh, your white and black and your greys. <coughs> so yeah, haven't used these yet either. Very excited for that. Again, if you wanted to see them used, do let me know. Oh, to be honest, you could watch Lucy just adds colour because you'll find a couple of uh, pictures being coloured in 
on her channel for those. Um, so that's it for the supplies that I got. Everything else uh, is books. If you watch my channel at all, you have seen this book already, um, as I have done um, a couple of videos showing you how I colour this page with the Orteza pencils. They're both up part one and part two on my channel. Quite pleased with them. Apart from, I think, I'm pretty sure the light should have been whiter for a night scene. I've done his reflection a bit too yellow, I think. But apart from that, um, he's turning out pretty well. And I just need to get him finished. This is a lovely book. It's a smaller size than the normal. <clears throat> um, if I so show you, uh, an average sized colouring book is uh, The Lost Lumina. This is the Vectoroid size, so it's definitely what you class as a, a pocket sized colouring book. It's by Vassil Psycho, is the uh, illustrator. It is on Amazon print paper, if that bothers you. And just to show a few of the gorgeous pages, these are so fun. So fun. Very excited for these. And I have really enjoyed the one I started on. Make for a nice small page. Uh, the next couple of books I got, um, I watch Lisa's Colouring Corner a lot and she's a big fan of um, mandalas and patterns and colour by numbers and I've seen the Angie Grace books on her channel and always been quite intrigued by them. So I bought Quirky, which is the uh, volume 14 patterns book. Again, on Amazon paper, slightly smaller size than usual. These are like a square size, which make for a really nice symmetrical set of patterns. So you get a nice set of nine repeats and these are very very nice um i've already coloured a, a couple of these because i've had these since the beginning of the month and these are i definitely recommend these if you like patterns um I think these are really good. As far as I'm aware, I think the higher the number, the more intricate her patterns get. And the other book I got from the Angie Gray series, I, want, I thought I'd get one of each. So I got one of the uh, Stress Mender Volume 7 Reflect. And these are a bit more like a mandala kind of pattern. Again, on Amazon paper. And then I got the new Belba book, The Party Patterns. Because uh, again, I think I saw this on Lisa's Colouring Corner and then really wanted it. This is another square shape. Thought it would be good for Christmas, but then realised actually a lot of the patterns are all different kind of things. So you get the contents in the front, then your colour palette. And uh, the first page was actually an autumn pattern, so considering it's October, a pumpkin and sweetie page turned out much more appropriate than I thought it would. Um, obviously you, you can't see much with these, there's no real reason to show you the pages. You always get um, colour examples in the back. And Belba always follow the same colours, they don't change them. So if you've got a set picked out, they will work for all of them. And uh, you can of course do the cross method in these like I have. You can fully colour the squares or you can do the dot method. They all work out looking very nice. 
Uh, the next book I got, which you may have also seen on one of my videos, uh, one of the tag videos that I did, I got um, Joanna Basford's World of Flowers. I obviously have, like everybody, a couple of hers already, but I've had my eye on this World of Flowers one for a while. These are very, very nice pages. They're on a, a nice thicker paper. Uh, it's got a slight cream colour to the Joanna Basfords. And it is obviously has a lot of flower pages <coughs> to it. And I've seen some beautiful pictures done in these. And just wanted to add it to my collection more than anything. As at this point, I think I can safely say I've just decided to collect colouring books because there's no possible way that I'm colouring in all of these as I go. That's that one. I'm a subscriber to the Colouring Heaven magazine and this month's Colouring Heaven was the Zodiac special. This gave 40 astrological designs um, and the artists in this issue are Mayumi Ogihara, Tanya Bond, Kelly O'Gorman and Mitzi Sato Wolf, I'm going to assume, I'm sorry if I've said your name is wrong. This is issue 67 and a few examples of those pages. This is slightly thicker than Amazon paper but not by much. You would not want to use water in these. This isn't my favourite issue. Um, a couple of the pages I do like and I think I will colour but it's not my kind of thing and not everybody can like everything but there'll be plenty of people out there that are very keen on this so I'll just show you a few of the pages you can expect this one, this is nice that's the Zodiac special you can of course Colour the cover with these and the back. Um, you can usually pick those up in local supermarkets and of course you can go on the Anthem website online to pick them up. This, this represents the last of my Kirby Rose Annis collection. This is who I was missing so I now have a complete collection as far as I'm aware and I will be getting the new one when it comes out. I think the only one I don't have is Wonder Morphia um, because it is just the Geomorphia and Phantomorphia put into one book but as far as I'm aware there are a couple of extra pages so it is possible um, if it goes down I might have to grab it just to finish off my set. I believe this was the first one uh, done and this is Doodle Invasion. This is Amazon paper and these are just really fun. Illustrations. Surrounded by little doodle monsters. This is the only book of his that's on Amazon paper. All the books that are his own are on proper paper. Nice paper. I think this was a part of a different collection of books printed by someone else. So I like that one. 
it might have to be the first one I do, I think. If you wanted full flip throughs of any of the books that I show, uh, again, just pop it in the comments and I'll, I'll get that sorted out for you. So the other book I picked up while I was looking at that one, this one's illustrated by, I think it's Roni C. Pius, maybe. And this is Monster Doodles Invasion. Again, on Amazon paper. This is a, a Julia Rivers. And it does show some of the books that um, they do. I want this one. <laughs> I've already popped it in my wish list. I saw, I'm not sure who hold it, but I fancy it. Like I need another book, but it went on the list. These are slightly bigger doodles than the curvy one. A bit simpler. Seemed quite fun. Might even be fun in marker to be honest this one. And then shaded with a little bit of pencil. Might even have to try some of my new acrylics. The paper won't like it, but as long as I'm careful. What is that one? Um, I've got a few of the Camellia Angel Cola books. And of course, we are in the Halloween season. So I picked up her 50 Halloween mandalas, because I have seen this a couple of times. Um, on people's videos and it's just a few really cute mandalas that I really wanted and I grabbed that one because well for the amount of I mean you normally get about 50 pages and her books are usually about four pounds so they're always worth picking one up when I'm getting something and yeah, I've ended up with a few that way. And they do make nice pictures. Again, Amazon paper, but for four pounds, fifty pages. You can't really expect anything else. <laughs> well, that's different. What is that one? Um the next one I got for the season by Camellia Ranger Cover again is the fifty autumn miniatures i've got a couple of the miniature seasons now so just wanted to add this one to my collection they're just very cute and cozy simple pictures that she does that again make for nice easy colouring when you're in the mood for something simple and for, for the money her, her line art's very pretty must excuse my throat, I've got a bad chest and I'm pretty sure it probably sounds pretty terrible oh that's nice so that is that one any month wouldn't be complete without picking up a couple of jade summers and i got the um halloween related ones so i got a uh, gray scale of course because they're the ones i like i got kawaii horror um they seem to have started doing something new where on the back of the opposite page they name the book and they tell you which image you're on so you know if you're in the second set and which image it is. Uh, I quite like that. Makes it simpler. 
Let's just get my camera to focus. There we go. And uh, I like these. I've got the Kawaii Grey Scale. And I uh, like the idea. Really like that page of this version. Thought this would make for a really simple fun with markers. So I grabbed that one and to go with it I grabbed the nightmare grey scale which well I just I wanted this as soon as I saw it really for Halloween. Uh, this is obviously the older version where they've not done the pages and uh, again things look really fun I like this one I'm not sure cat lovers are going to agree with that page I like this as well. <laughs> Everything going on underneath. Uh, I then picked up a Carla Magana book because I don't actually have one of hers. I grabbed uh, the smaller Wee Wicked's colouring book. Again, this is on Amazon paper. And uh, Again, this is just fun little pages. I've never really fancied her books before, but a lot of people colouring them and I've seen some nice pictures. And out of all of them, this was the one I thought I might like. So I just I grabbed that one. I really like this page. So another easy colour with marker and pencil over the top I think and then just recently I was watching um, Pebbles adult colouring channel and she showed this I haven't seen this one before this is Dainty Damsels Halloween Collection 2019 by JN Sheets and this is uh, again on Amazon paper, but the pictures in this are oh, stunning. I was really surprised, to be honest. It was a good price. And I'm actually tempted to print these onto a nicer paper. I'm normally just colouring the books, but we'll see. I like how they, she's uh, lightened. The black line art behind that ghost make it easier to colour and uh, these pages are these are really pretty I was quite impressed so I think I'll have to have a little look at the the other books that this artist has done and, uh, We'll see, because yeah, that is that is uh, definitely one I'm glad I got. And then to finish off, I of course had to get for the Halloween season the new Alan Robert book. This is the Beauty of Horror Four, the creature feature book that you'll have seen loads of at the moment because everyone's going crazy for it. I don't normally get. The Alan Robert books, but this one I had to have. It's a uh, really nice thick paper. Pretty much use what you want on this, I think, as long as you're careful. And the pictures are so fun. Uh, that would be from The Fly, I would imagine. We've got Stephen King's It, The Pennywise Clown. Range of Things, which is a bit newer, quite fun. Uh, 
This would be a jigsaw from Saw. I'm assuming this is one of the haunted house movies are oh, Amityville, of course. We've got the alien. Oh no, no, get your movies right. That would be Predator. My bad. Predator it is. I thought Predator was an action movie, but I suppose for the time. Then we've got Chucky killing Woody. Seems a bit mean. Oh wow, <laughs> that's a, a different take on Finding Nemo, isn't it? That's quite fun. I'm assuming they put on us. Pretty sure he's had it. Is that the ring or the grudge? One of them. That'll be the shining. Oh, Hellraiser. Not sure that one. That turned into a bit of a full flip almost, didn't it? I think I got a bit distracted. This is brilliant. I've seen this on a couple of people's channels and I just think that is so impressive the different versions of well Dracula and vampires because he's not Dracula he's Nosferatu but it's kind of Dracula through the ages very clever I knew I'd seen the alien I'm not sure about this <laughs> baby on board but yeah, that would be Carrie, I assume. And is that going to be? Is that is that Bates? Yeah, oh, yeah, it says on the other page if I look Bates Motel. That would be Psycho. No, oh, I like how you've got the different characters from the different movies in the cinema. It's one version of The Exorcist that you don't see. That is probably the creepiest part of that entire film when she goes down the stairs on her fingers. They did that very well. Yeah, that's The Exorcist. And that takes you to the front. Um, yeah, I don't, like I said, I don't usually get these books but out of all of them that was a must um i am a horror movie fan and uh, i thought that was really cleverly done on lovely paper so even if i don't color in it which i will because that would be a crime but um it's a nice art book to have to be honest a little bit different from the usual um right that is everything i got and uh, I think it's plenty to be honest. Uh, no judgments here. We're all addicted to colouring. Um, and I love to watch a decent haul video, as you can tell, because then I end up buying the books. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you do, um, please subscribe uh, to the channel and, and like this video. It helps my small channel a lot. And I will see you in the next one.